Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to straighten up here. Uh, anyways, I am going to show you how I paint this fun red and black flower um, on a black cardstock. And then eventually I will be showing you how I'm going to, to actually paint this on a wine glass. But for this evening, I'm going to start off by showing you how I paint it on the cardstock. Now again, uh, this is going to be a similar no two are alike as I keep trying to mention uh, when you're painting something it's all especially by hand unless you're doing a stencil or something where it's is actually being created um, by an exact method um, this is what you need to make sure everybody understands that no two will be alike all right, so to get started, <clears throat> I'm going to be using licorice. And again, this is Folk Art Enamels. School bus yellow. Engine red. I always must say fire engine, but engine red. Wicker white. Peridot. This is the only one that's going to be a multi-surface paint for this design and thicket. The rest are folk art enamels. My brushes I'm going to be using are number 12 flat brush and a round brush which I'm assuming because all the paint is off the handle probably is either a 12 or a 3 quarter round brush. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by painting the actual red and black flowers first. And I will literally be using red and black paint, the licorice and the engine red, with my flat brush. And I will be double loading it. You know a lot of times people will... Oops. Just put it backwards. Snap it. So then when you watch my videos, I'm the clumsy painter. I shouldn't say that, but that's pretty much how it goes. Alright, so placement, that's up to you. You could actually do a variation of these flowers so that they're not all the same purpose of the video though I'm probably going to do them very similar. I have a tendency to direct them in one direction which they can be in different directions obviously when you're painting it you know not all flowers are going the same direction and I had to I've watched somebody do a very similar video it's kind of where I got the idea and I've been practicing this stroke and then I found that I had to actually kind of adjust it because I'm left-handed, so I have to do a little bit different. And since I'm trying not to <clears throat> have my flowers all going in the same direction, I'm hoping that this works well. So bear with me. I used to paint all the time and I got away from it when we were doing the bridal hangers so much that I'm kind of rusty at it by trying to get back into it because I love it. Of course with doing the videos, I like doing painting videos, especially the wine glasses. But any of these designs that I show you can be painted on any surface. I mean whether you're into you know, decorating furniture, or you merely want to spruce up a room and add some interest, design interest to a room in your home. I mean, you can create, you can create a lot of interest in a room just by adding some vines, maybe some simple, simple buds. I kind of like what these are. I like to personally work with, oh, I just did it backwards. Boop. Say blooper. 
I personally like to work with odd numbers and in taking some design classes that's kind of how I was taught meaning that you know I work in, in odd, odd number pairs not that it's not okay to do one or you know to do two or whatnot but I typically like to do odd numbers just adds more interest or it's supposed to add interest now on some of these you can I like you wanting to walk paint backwards today leave a little bit open over here if you want such a fun design to paint, I have to admit, I really enjoy painting it. And this, uh, the stroke that I'm doing is kind of like a shell stroke, I guess you would call it. And I really haven't used it that much in my painting, but I really like it. It's pretty darn easy. If you want, you can come back in and add some interest with bringing, bringing it like this back over here just to kind of fill this in and connect it. Or you can just leave it be. You know, however you want to do it is, is really up to you. And then you can even put another stroke in here, kind of like we do with roses and such, just to fill that area in. I think this is going to be really pretty on a glass. It may be kind of odd because I am going to, uh, I will be doing some black on the glass before I paint the design. For some reason I have <clears throat> really become very interested in doing some base coating before I paint a design and again my thought on that is just to give it some more durability alright so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my peridot and my thicket to start putting in some leaves and vines once again double loading the brush with a little bit of the peridot and the thicket. I really like this. I really like the combination of the two together. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just do, I'm going to lead, meaning I'm going to use, have my brush going this way so that more of the lighter green, the peridot shows as I'm doing this, but this is just kind of adding some little vines, in it, or not vines, but um, stems. Just kind of wispy kind of stems into the painting. And when you're painting on like the cardstock and all, it is a little drier texture as opposed to painting on the glass. So you may find yourself needing to reload your brush more just to keep it flowing nicely. Or you could, you know, throw in some medium you know, flow medium to help with that, but I don't, I don't have any right now to do that with, so. I don't know why, I find it hard to find certain products without having to order it, and the problem I'm having with ordering is it takes so darn long to get the product from the company that I was using. Somebody that Plaid actually recommended, but it's like, gosh, it takes forever. I think they end up ordering it from Plaid, which is the company that makes the paint. All right, and I just like to kind of put the the stem differently on the, the little buds. Let me 
just like to make it look like it's all coming from different directions. And then you can go in and just add, you know, add some more interest here with putting in, you know, some grass or whatnot at the bottom here. Now what I'm thinking with the wine glasses when I get to painting those that I might just use the stem of the glass and you know, like I've done in some of the other ones as the the actual stem for the flowers and you can put in more I mean it, they can double cross this is just kind of sporadic however you want to want to do you want to fill it in more towards the bottom you can do that as well but I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Then I'm going to go in and add some leaves to the buds, or the bud stems, I should say. And I think I just stuck my paint in the black. Oh, that's interesting. Or my brush in the black. I'm not sure what my thoughts were on that one, but kind of has an interesting look, don't you think? Now I'm just going to try to just have these go in different directions and just trying to space them out a little bit. Like I said, I really enjoy painting this one. And these are just, you know, really just easy leaves to paint. And you don't have to go all the way down. You can end you know, up a little higher if you wish. Alright, find my little bud here. Go like that. I mean, they can be close together if you want, or you can spread them out some. This doesn't really matter. Anything that you see me paint, um